not seen the video of uh, uh, about the SAS Polytechnic uh, tour of Moose Jaw, please go and watch it. I've already made a video on that. So now I'm just going to walk through the downtown to show you a little bit of downtown, uh, maybe some spots to eat. There are also some Indian restaurants on this road. There's a cafe there called as Evolve, uh, which is also famous. Uh, so yeah, let's walk through downtown and see. So can you guess where I am? I am at Moose Jaw in Saskatchewan. I've come back to the campus. So that's the Moose Jaw campus. But today I'm not going to the campus. I've already made a campus tour. If you've not seen that, go to the uh, video and check that out. I'll be actually going to downtown, exploring other parts of Moose Jaw for you, uh, rather than going inside the campus. So I came to Moose Jaw mainly to meet one of my friend, actually one of my subscriber. Had lunch at their place. I'll put the picture of the biryani somewhere here. It was so yum. Uh, so got to meet their family. Was so happy that they are kind of settled in Moose Jaw, and you know she's studying here. Husband is working here. Uh, so hi. Uh, to whosoever they didn't want to come on the video so I've not I've not taken a video because of that so now I'm heading to downtown I'll show you some parts of most jaw most of you asked for a most da most jaw downtown tour or a uh, tour of most jaw so I'm gonna do that today see you there so most jaw is a very small town uh, and it is uh, towards the south of Saskatchewan uh, it is very close to Raja in around 45 minutes, so you will see a lot of students who uh, get enrolled in most jobs coming and living in Regina because it's around 45 minutes to one hour drive but the drive during winter is quite hard so I have a lot of my subscribers asking me can I take admission in most jobs and then you know stay in Regina I know a lot of my friends did that but you should consider that you will have to drive up and down 45 minutes to one hour and during winter the condition is not that favorable where you can drive uh, you know uh, and you might have to miss your classes so if at all you're getting accommodation in Moose Jaw, I would suggest that till the time you complete your course, you stay in Moose Jaw and then shift to a, a bigger city. I do understand that students these days find it a little difficult to get accommodation. So whoever is planning to come to Moose Jaw, please book your uh, accommodation at least six months in advance. Also, you know, look out for uh, accommodation near to the college so that you can walk to the college or uh, uh, places where there are bus services so that's easy and convenient for you. Now, Mosja is a very self-sustained town. Uh, it has all the facilities. Uh, the only drawback is that uh, you don't have buses during certain timings and therefore you need to plan uh, your grocery trip or your any other kind of outing that you want to do uh, accordingly or else you can opt to buy a car maybe in like six to seven months you can get cash from you know, whichever country you're coming in plan ahead for that and bring uh, the cash here and you can buy a car uh, with cash uh, so um, this is one of the major drawbacks that i found in most of but other than that it's a very beautiful town even during winter i really enjoyed uh, staying in most of it's a city which has a lot of student population downtown Moose Jaw. You would have seen the drive here. Uh, so it's not a big downtown but quite big for the city. Uh, they have enough of restaurants, uh, they have like pubs, they have cafes, everything in the downtown area. They also have it in like Thatcher Avenue or Thatcher Drive uh, where the major development is happening now. Uh, so now uh, we just came here to just show you the downtown area. They also have some specifics to Moose Jaw, uh, which is like tunnels of Moose Jaw, which is a must visit. They have a uh, um, temple. Thermal spa. Thermal mineral spa. spa. Yeah, mineral spa, which is again a must visit. You can like go stay there and all those kind of things. And other than that, it's a small town. Uh, there are a lot of students who are coming here to study in SAS Polytech. If you've not seen the video of uh, uh, about the SAS Polytechnic uh, tour, of Moose Jaw, please go and watch it. I've already made a video on that. So now I'm just going to walk through the downtown to show you a little bit of downtown, uh, maybe some spots to eat. There are also some Indian restaurants on this road. There's a cafe there called as Evolve, uh, which is also famous. Uh, so yeah, let's walk through downtown and see.
this is one of the places where you can get bus passes. I think you can also get it in Safeway uh, if it's there in Mosja. I think it's there in Mosja, yeah. It's there, Prashant is saying it's there. So otherwise you can come to City Hall and take your bus pass and travel by bus. Uh, it's available only till 5 o'clock during a weekday and I think Saturdays the frequency is less and Sundays there's no buses. So whoever is coming here plan accordingly. If you want to go buy provisions and all those kind of things you have to plan during the weekday. Or else uh, there might be cabs but you have to book ahead. I think Uber is not that popular here. Uh, but you also have services like uh, Instacart wherein you can order groceries uh, by an app which I used to do when I used to study as a student. I didn't have a car at that time. Uh, you can also do skip the dish or Uber for buying food. So it's not that bad in Moose Jaw. You have all the facilities here. So now I'm at the next signal, uh, which has TD Bank, uh, which has VMAX, I don't know what it is. I think it's like a theater. I don't know what it is. Okay. And then we have Evolve, uh, which is a coffee and bakery, coffee shop and bakery here. It's kind of famous, good reviews. Been there once or twice. Then ahead of me, you buy food. Then uh, on the other side, we have Houston Pizza, Tuxedo. There's also a sushi place, uh, which is quite good. What we observed during our uh, visit to Mostra this time is that there was a lot of visitors coming into Mostra because there are some famous spots like Tunnels of Mostra or the um, Temple Spa and uh, Resort. So there were a lot of people coming in from other, maybe other provinces or maybe other cities in uh, Saskatchewan. It is my first time in Mosja uh, during summer. I've always seen it in winter. I was here during, uh, from around, uh, I think, December to April and which was peak winter. Mm, and uh, as I told you, you have most of the facilities in Mosja, but you might not find like a proper Indian store or maybe a proper um, uh, store for um, African community or Chinese community, you know, like uh, for groceries and those kind of things. But other than that, uh, you get most of the provisions in uh, places like Walmart, Superstore. You have like international sections there where you can buy things. So this was one source of our entertainment in most job we used to go to actually uh, watch movies in this particular theater i think this was one of the primary theaters in most job maybe with the one or the only one in most job if i would say i'm not very sure but uh, most of the english movies and other um, regional languages used to come there and this is the one and only mall town and country mall in most job i don't know whether they're developing new ones but this is the one and there are hardly any shops inside it's a very boring and dull mall I would say I'm not sure I didn't go in this time so I don't know whether they have more shops uh, in there 
uh, you have a dollarama next to it and you also have a strip mall right opposite to the uh, town and country mall here you do have like individual standalone buildings uh, where you know you have shops um, specific to uh, maybe a pharmacy and those kind of things but other than that i also saw that there's a lot of development happening happening near the superstore or the walmart area i think it's called a thatcher drive uh, i'm not very sure of the area but that's where the major development is happening and a lot of uh, uh, new stores and new um, buildings coming up in that area so this is a golf course in uh, mosra which is there and uh, as you can see there were a lot of visitors so i'm sure that you know all these were uh, fully booked and there's a lot of tourism happening so this is a major drive that i was talking about which has a lot of development so uh, i hope you enjoy the video thank you for watching like share and subscribe